everybody out there in Slot Car Land. How are everybody doing this week? Um, I hope everybody's uh, been doing all right. Can't believe it's freaking October already. Year's going by fast. Um, first off, I want to uh, tell everybody that I still haven't heard from anybody from uh, the contest for the project car. So I'm going to go over everything again and show you where to send an email so I can get you, you guys, your stuff. Um... I know I got two people here too that I know these aren't your real names. These are your YouTube names. So can you uh, include your YouTube name with your email along with your main name and address so I know where to send it? Um, of course, the, the the BSRT wheel and tire set went to e, ELEB2634. Um, the, the, the Corvette decals went to Ricky Bobby. And the project car went to Tom Mays. So if you guys can shoot me an email, and here is my email address. It's S-N-T-O-Z-M-A-N at gmail.com. So if you guys can shoot me your email, please remember to include your YouTube name along with your, your name and address. So I know where to send you your prizes. So let me know so I can get these out. I really want you guys to have these. Um, if I don't hear back from you guys, um, I'll hold. I'll continue to hold them no matter what. But if nobody claims them and we're gonna have a, we go around to have another prize or whatever, I'll just include them in another drawing. So let me know, and uh, we'll get that stuff out to you guys. I um, hope uh, everybody's doing good today. We're gonna do a little bit on the layout today um we got some some cool things to show you i'm going to show you an easy and really cool way to light your layout especially this time of year because you can find these anywhere this time of year let me show you what i'm talking about here I'll go over to the layout and i've got two of the other garages already taken up because i've got one prepped for the for what we're going to do now and the other one i gotta get prepped and ready so i can put the do this in the other one but this and I've already showed some pictures of this on a couple slot car groups. This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to light one of the garages today. And that is cool. And as you can see, you can actually now see inside the garage and see the, the paint job I put inside of there. These are really cool. The, the box for it is right there. As you can see. They're stuck to the the 2x4 with one of those command strips from, from M3. And they're, 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 they're uh, powered by three AA batteries. And I got mine at uh, Shopco. I'll show you here what they look like. This is what they look like in the package. Everlasting Glow LED lights. These, this, these are a 5-foot string. And they're all in that inside that garage. Um, they're $14.99 on regular price. Um, I got these for $7.49 a piece. Um, they may even we may even go cheaper before Christmas. Um, I'm sure you could probably find these at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or of course I got these at Shopco. Um, you know anywhere that sells Christmas lights, you could probably pick some of these up. So we're gonna put install one of these today. Um, you're probably gonna need. Um, these are the command strips. I bought the longer ones to, to stick it to the side of the 2x4. So we're going to need to get one of those out while I'm thinking about it here. And uh, so that's what we're going to do today. So let me go get the camera set up over at the track and we will uh, get to work. All right. Now we're back. As you can see, I've already done some prep work inside my building. I've got some stuff, some channel glued in here and a couple of... Uh, 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 rectangular rectangular tubing to run the lights through on here already and um, the channel I'm using is whoops hold on oh, yeah, there we go uh, the channel I'm using is plastic uh, plastic styrene channels the uh, where's the camera here we go there's what I'm using for that's the channel number and the channel size and then the square tubing I'm using is this square tubing here 
And then I've already gone ahead and as you can see, I've already drilled some holes for the lights to go in because they're going to come up under this lip here, which is another piece of the same size channel that's in here. And then we're going to wind it through the side here and out and down around here underneath the flag stand as well. And then what we're going to use in the channel to cover it is we're going to use some clear plastic styrene sheet plastic to cover up to cover on here it kind of makes it kind of look like lights i did the same thing inside the other one i got a couple pieces already sits here and i didn't bring over the scissors or the lights oh wait no i got the lights right here okay so we got the lights i just forgot my scissors and i thought i had everything prepared one of these days, I'm going to shoot one of these episodes, and I'm going to have everything prepared totally 100%, and it's going to shock everybody, ain't it? <laughs> All right. Get these out of the package here. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and drilled a hole all the way through. Through the baseboards there. These are kind of wound together, so I'm going to put the camera on pause so we can get this totally unwound so it doesn't waste some time here, so hold on. Alright, now that I got it all out of the box, we're going to stick the, the command strip to the back of the battery box. When you're doing it, make sure you read the thing and you got the right side on there, or it'll want to fall off. I did that one time, I was using these for something and I put it on there wrong and I'm like, oh man, and it fell off the wall and that absolutely sucked. And we'll put this one just like we put the other one right by the garage. And then we will feed, where's my hole? line right up through the hole. And there we go. Alright, now, and I can already see an issue up here put you guys up here we got a golf golf car show going on up at the hotel all right um and as you can see boop, boop, they work yay these seem a little more yellow than the other set i bought though they're not quite as clear they're a more yellow light which is different did that say anything on there Huh. Strange. Oh well. That's alright. They're still good. Just be just gonna be a softer. Looks like it's gonna be a softer light. Alright. Let's turn this off. Alright. Okay, so put that over there. Got some of my pieces here. Let's cut a piece of clear. over to go over that I'm still working on the still working on the wall for over there on the other side of the hotel you might be able to oh you can't see it in camera but it's sitting over there on the straightaway that one's taking me a little while haven't had a whole lot of whole lot of time here lately to to work on that. Um, let me cut a square piece off here. Notice I didn't put one on the back wall.
go. We'll get this put on here. As you can see, I'm using a regular model glue on this stuff because of the paint. Once you paint over the plastic here, the solvent kind of kind of uh, model glue won't won't stick anymore because of the paint. All right, there we go. Let that let that sit for a second. Let that piece dry because that's the first piece we're going to be going through here. And then I've got got some little channel pieces cut to uh, cover on the beam that runs across the center to hold the lights up. And we'll go up the back, probably over here. I've got a little piece back here. We'll come through there. We'll come out this hole. We'll run here. We'll go back in this hole, probably across the beam, over back across the beam this way, um, out this hole here and across here and back in. And maybe probably down and around through here and then we'll wind it back and come through the hole I got in the side and out and over and down and then we'll see what we got left. We'll see how much line we got left after that. Um, this one, as you can see on this one, pan over, I kind of glued, uh, you can't, there we go, as you can see I could kind of glued some of the lights up to the roof because I had so much left over on that one to be able to do that. But I'm hoping with going out here and down and back that it's not going to leave us a whole lot left. We might just leave it inside this little cubby hole over here. It's basically the stairwell to get up to the flight, up to the uh, starter stand. Alright, so that should be fairly well dry by now. So let's wind... Plus with this, I've got enough slack on this line to be able to lift the garages up and off. You can see the two nails that are on the racetrack. This is hold on. These are held on the same way that I showed you guys in the wall episode of how I put in my retaining walls. These are held, the buildings are held on there we go. Held on the same way. And as you can see, this is actually wire, so it's actually bendable, so you can mold it to wherever you are working. Let's, before we glue that down, let's run this through the side over here. And we'll come out the front hole on, and I've got a couple of issues with this, with this one. i got to glue the roof back on a little bit on this one. Alright, where's my exacto knife? Once again, another tool I left. Did I leave it over there? What did I do with my exacto knife? I'll have to grab the other one. Always comes in handy to have more than one exacto knife. Okay, where'd the end go? Where did the end go? There it is. One thing I hate about tube glue is the sometimes when you open the cap off it wants to run all over the place and I'm using it because it's stronger 
that sets sticks to the plastic a little more with this wire being the way it is. Just gotta be careful I don't screw up the paint with the glue. this out a little bit. It's a little hard working it over here but you got to do it where you're going to be installing it so especially if you're mounting the boxes outside. I thought toyed with mounting them inside the thing at one time but they're so big that they take up too much space and you can't hide them unless you hide them on the roof and plus be having to be able to turn them off and on I thought mounting them underneath the track was the best idea for that. Cut a, cut a couple more. Pieces here. To get this on here. I got some, uh, just some, some, uh, keep you guys updated on stuff. I've got some decals coming for the... The Mega G Plus NASCAR body we got. I'll, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You guys are going to have to wait and see. Um, and I'll tell you who I got them from and stuff when they show up. He uh, mailed them yesterday. So, mail yeah, coming from a pretty a guy who's becoming a pretty good friend on Facebook. So we've been talking quite a bit lately about about stuff. So we'll show you. I'll show you guys that when they show up. Dang it. Let's move, the, let's move the Ferrari hauler over there. Get some stuff out of the way here. And we'll, uh, from what he's telling me, these are decal wraps. And I've never done one before, so we're going to do one on camera together. So that's going to be, that'll be cool. Kind of an, an experience for both of us together because I've always, I've never done my decals in that manner and that's where he gets these from is, that's the way they, they do their decals. So we'll uh, give it a shot and see what happens. What's going on upstairs? But it sounds like a herd of turtles. Or a herd of elephants. See what I'm doing down to eye level here. Okay, let's 
Let's glue one of these channel pieces. And we're putting that on this I beam here. beam here. So has anybody out there done any any racing yet? Any some serious racing yet? I'm still uh still trying to get my guys together here. Get them committed to a get them committed to a schedule. Hopefully I'll be able to get them Worked out here. I'm gonna email. I'm gonna message one of them today. See if I can't get him. Come on. There we go. Sometimes these small pieces are kind of a pain. So we're going to put this on pause for a minute here, and I'm going to let this stuff dry for a few seconds, and then we'll continue. All right. Got a little more wound through, as you can see. Trying to just make some decisions on where lights should be at here. Kind of tedious work, but it, when it's done, it looks great. I wanted to do this last year at Christmas time, and I thought, oh, I'll wait till after the holiday and get them on clearance, and that didn't work out too well. They were all gone by the time I went to get some, so I had to wait. I had to wait till this year, which is cool though, because then I get to show you guys how how to do it. So. That kind of worked out kind of good. I'm going to be doing, we're going to be doing some stuff here. I should have some, look what the mailman brought for you here pretty soon. Um, the, the decal set for one. And there's some stuff I want to do for my boys for this holiday season. And I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that when we do it. There's some cars I want to build. My oldest doesn't have, uh, doesn't have any uh, G Plus cars, uh, Indy or full body. So I want to build a couple of those for him, and I want to build a, a, a T-Jet for my for my youngest. So we'll, uh, we'll have those on there, and I'll show those builds and, and refabs. And uh, more than likely, of course, the G-Plus cars will be used, so we can, I'll show you how to rehab a, a used uh, G-Plus car. So hopefully I can get him the Ferrari. I've got decals to do the number 11 Ferrari, so... That'll be cool. So um, I'm going to do a little more here off camera, and then I'll bring you back here in a minute. So let me put this on pause. All right, we're almost there. I got to looking at the packaging off camera there, and I didn't realize that we do have... There is two different types of lights. There's a white and an amber, and when I pull these, I pull them all off the same hook. But you know how things get filled in stores sometimes, so there's one garage. I got two sets of white, so this will be white and this will be white. And then this one will be amber, which shouldn't be too bad. It's not quite as bright as that, but we'll, uh, we'll get this done and we'll turn the lights off and we'll see what it looks like.
Plus, being amber will be kind of cool right here at the start finish line anyway, so it's not as as stunning to the drivers. Let's see if we can go. Oh yeah, we can go right out this hole. We're not going to have much extra on this one by the looks of it, so this is going to be cool. Put that like that, and we'll just leave the rest in a little cubby hole here so we don't have much left, so that's good. Give this a little bit of a tug. We'll put this back here. And we'll just take and tuck that up underneath there. All right, so let's uh, let's put this back. There we go. Sometimes these are hard to get. grab the phone here all right so there we go that's how we put lights in so let's uh let's come over here let's pull this we can just unplug that one there and that would be what it looks like so as you can see it, these ambers aren't as bright as the other ones and come to think of it amber might even be a better way to go with these lights, um, where did the book? Where did the paper go? Uh, hold on here for a sec. Let's come over here. I got the other package over here. Oh yeah, it's right here. So see if you look on this, where it says amber lights, thirty amber lights, where this one says thirty white lights. And I didn't even notice that when I grabbed them and grabbed them, grabbed them that they were two different colors. They were on the same peg, but I think once once they're both done, I think that's going to look kind of cool. We'll have a couple that are brighter. This garage and this garage will be whites, and this will be amber right here at start finish. So. So that's how you do it, and they're only $7.49 a piece. So it's not bad at all. So I think uh, I think I might buy a couple more and like do the do the the uh, shell station here. Might be kind of a neat idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you got the, let me put my lights back in here. Hope you guys liked the episode. Hope you guys keep watching. Hope you guys keep subscribing. Um, I want to thank everybody for the for the views for the the Tome track is the best episode. It's up to 256 views as of today. So uh, thank you guys for the turnout. I love you guys. I love that you're watching. And keep on commenting. Keep on giving me some ideas. Um, keep on asking questions that we can answer here on the episode and whatever else you guys want. Um, next next episode, um, I got that wall to finish yet. We might work on that. Um, we might do a um, how you maintenance your car episode. I'm still thinking about what we're going to do next episode. But uh, hope you guys like. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. Keep commenting. Keep liking. And I uh, talk to you guys on the flip side. Bye.